All right, welcome back everyone. A lovely evening for us. Temperatures are going to get cool pretty rapidly as we experience nighttime radiational cooling. A live look for the Baylor Scott and White Health Sky Live weather camera in Waco. We're already at 49 degrees. 52 in Gatesville at this hour. 52 in Colleen and Temple as well. Hearns at 53. Marlin 52. Cameron 51. Mahia reporting 48 degrees. Never was looking at a light north wind around 5 to 10 miles an hour. It is dry air coming out of the interior, the middle portions of the United States. It is continental dry air mass settling across and we will have good radiational cooling as we get into the later hours of the evening. This morning we're at 56, the afternoon high today topping out at 70 degrees. When you do the math, it's just about right on schedule where we would normally be. Well, we certainly need some rain here. Our rainfall deficit from just the 1st of September now is at six inches. That's how far behind we are for the autumn months. Clear skies, 49 now, 32% relative humidity, very dry. North wind at seven miles an hour. Forecast for tonight then is for clear skies, cool temperatures. And I think by morning, we're going to be looking at temperatures down into the low 30s. Call it about 33 with a wind chill around 30 degrees first thing in the morning. We're back up to 63 at lunchtime and maxing out at around 69 for an afternoon high. A little shy of the 70 degree mark. Latest drought monitor came out and we are still at very dry conditions here across the I-35 corridor. When you get into the Texas Hill Country, it's even worse. As I said, we're looking at a huge deficit as far as rain is concerned. Look like it's going to be a dry winter for us as well. Overnight tonight, temperatures down through the 40s into the mid 30s to low 30s in most cases and tomorrow the ridge of high pressure still uh, pretty strong across the area. It does begin drifting back towards the east pretty rapidly into the lower Mississippi Valley and we get set for the next frontal system coming our way which should be here probably about on Saturday or Sunday morning. Here's Channel 6 7 day forecast where your weekend's always in view. And yes, there is a suggestion in the forecast models that we might see a little bit of rain next week. It's not a whole lot though. Rainfall totals likely to be less than a tenth of an inch both on Tuesday and Wednesday. This is your Channel 6 7 day forecast where your weekend's always in view. Baylor playing on Friday in Fort Worth. Looks like it's going to be a little bit warmer, lots of sunshine for us. Thursday, Thanksgiving Day, tomorrow, good looking day. Perhaps some low level clouds first thing in the morning, but I think even that's going to be stretching it a little bit. The big shopping day on Friday looks like it'll be nice. Saturday, they're going to be out saddled up and riding it. Fort Parker in Limestone County, their Thanksgiving trail ride going on. Of course, Blora Nature and Lights is also going on now. I will be out with the Camo Santa crew from Channel 6 in uh, Copper's Cove on Monday for the 5 and 6 o'clock newscast and then ringing the bell for the Salvation Army Tuesday morning in Waco at Richland Mall mm -hmm. at the food court entrance. All right. Come see me. Will do. Thank All you, right. Andy.